Hey, it's Darnell with D-Grill. Going to be brining and smoking a salmon slow and low on the Green Mountain Grill's Daniel Boone pellet smoker. This is the night before I'm get, getting ready to put it in the brine. The brine consists of six cups of warm water, one cup of brown sugar, three quarters cup of kosher salt, and one tablespoon of ground cinnamon. And before I get it in this brine, I just wanted to talk to you real quick about something I noticed at Costco and that is done at some stores and you got to be aware of it. Now this is a, uh, as you can see, it's clearly marked, it's a uh, farm raised uh, Atlantic salmon filet. But uh, also at places like Costco they have something that looks just like this. You'll go in and you'll see something that looks like a salmon and you'll say, oh wow, it's on sale, what a great price but it's really called a steelhead. Steelhead is basically a mature form of a rainbow trout. It's not a salmon, but it looked just like a salmon a lot of times in the package. There's subtle differences, but for the most part, they look you know, pretty much identical when you're just scanning grocery aisle. So when you're out buying your salmon, make sure that uh, you definitely get salmon and not steelhead. This particular salmon is two and three quarter pound. I'm gonna get this in the brine. All right, so I've got my salmon in the brine. Basically, it'll go into the fridge and set overnight in the fridge and brine. I'll just put a little light cover over it and uh, I'll get it out in the morning. I'll rinse it off and wipe it with some paper towels to dry it off and I'll bring you back then and we'll be getting ready to put it on the grill then for this uh, slow smoked salmon on the Green Mountain Grill's pellet smoker. Okay, so it's the following morning. I got the salmon out the brine, rinsed the uh, stuff off of it. That was, you know, it just, you know, has like the residue from all the spices and stuff. You just rinse that off. The brine has already been soaked into the meat well by now. So <clears throat> basically, going to just put this in the refrigerator for about four hours, uncovered. And basically, what that's going to do is it's going to cause this uh, top side to get a shiny sheen and what's going to happen is when I cook it on the smoker, Lord willing, it won't have a whole bunch of white stuff coming up on it when I'm cooking it. You know, I don't know if you've seen salmon that's been cooked and wasn't prepared well and so it's a bunch of white polyps come up on it. There might be a little bit, you know, usually there might be a little bit down the middle here somewhere but Lord willing, not too much. So, i uh, going to put this in the fridge bring you back in about four hours and that's when we get it on the smoker. Okay, so that salmon, after setting in the fridge, uh, uncovered for four hours, you can see that shiny sheen on the salmon, that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the grill warmed up now, so powering the grill on, and just confirm that. And now that the grill is on, I'm gonna set the temperature to 180. I'm going to be smoking at 180 today and while that gets warmed up I'm going to go ahead and give you a weather report. All right the current weather is mostly sunny 61 degrees, real feel 64 degrees, humidity 58 percent, wind speed 8 miles an hour. Today it's going to get up to about 68 so we're almost at the high for the day. It's going to be sunny all day and uh, just to explain, I always give the weather report because if you do a lot of smoking and grilling, you know that weather has a big impact on your cook. You know, how long it's going to take, how much fuel you're going to burn. The you know, weather plays into that a lot. But going to let this just set and rest, let the grill get warmed up. And once the grill is nice and warm at 180, I'll uh, bring you back when I'm putting this on the grill. Okay, our salmon's getting ready to go onto the grill. I wanted to mention if you have not already done so, please subscribe to the channel. Um, as far as the pellets I'm using in this cook, I've got about maybe a few hours of Traeger Applewood left over in there, but most of this cook will be using the Green Mountain Grills Premium Fruitwood pellet. That's what I'll be using for uh, most of the duration of this cook. Also, um, you notice I have a grill mat under the salmon. That grill mat is a Green Mountain Grills uh, grill mat made for the Daniel Boone. There's a referral link in the video description if you're interested in that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this salmon put onto the grill now. 
And also, I met, forgot to mention that I've got, uh, as far as meat probes, I've got the I Grill 2 meat probe in there. And once I get the salmon in there, I'm going to put the Green Mountain Grills meat probe in there as well. The Green Mountain Grills probe sometimes comes in a little low as far as temp. And so, if it's coming in too low, I'll know from the I Grill, you know, when things really are done, and I'll just uh, do it through the I Grill probe if I have to. So, I'm going to get this onto the grill now. All right, so salmon's on the grill, meat probes are in, and close it on up there. You see the uh, Green Mountain probe there, the agro probe is right there. So I'm gonna close up. I have a profile set for this cook, so I'm gonna go into that now. That profile is called Smoked Salmon, and as you can see, the profile that I have on screen shows that we're gonna be cooking at 180 until the meat temperature reaches 150. After it reaches 150, we're going to continue to cook at 180 for another 30 minutes. We want to be at a sustained temperature of 150 for over 30 minutes. And so once it's uh, at a sustained temperature, you know, after it gets there for 30 minutes, then I've got this last step that just says all done, just to let me know, hey, it's all done, come get it. So I'm going to go ahead and start that profile now. And so that profile is in effect. Now we're going to go back. To the main screen we see the food temperature is just 44 degrees profile starting so the food temp is just 44 degrees to start according to green mountain grill probe let's look at the eye grill probe okay so on the eye grill probe we see it's reading about 48 degrees so the eye grill 2 probe is reading about four degrees higher right now so basically we have that continued discrepancy where the eye grill probe reads a little higher than the green mountain grills probe so, uh, you know, we'll see how this goes, but I do have my iGrill 2 probe to rely on to make sure we get this accurate. So I'll bring you on back probably much later today. Okay, so about 30 minutes ago, the iGrill hit 150, now it's at 155. And let me show you the Green Mountain. The Green Mountain has hit uh, 151, but it hit 150 just 10 minutes ago. 20 minute difference between how long it took each to hit, hit 150 and that makes a difference in the dryness of the meat so I'm glad that I used both in this cook and I'm finding the eye grill to just be more trustworthy so you know I'm just really using it as my guide the uh, Green Mountain Probe is really just more of a backstop in case I you know had to run out for some unknown reason or something and it had to do the work to cut things off but uh, let me show you the pellet hopper here Never had to refill. It's been cooking four and a half hours. Never had to refill. And uh, that's all that was used. And I told you the weather conditions earlier. Um, I don't even think it got down into the Green Mountain pellets. I think it probably just used Traeger pellets that I still had in there. So, gonna get this off, get it into the foil, let it set uh, in the house in the foil for 30 minutes. And I know what you were saying. I forgot to show you something, but there it is. Um, you know, after four and a half hours at 180, well smoked, gonna get it in full and get it inside. All right, there's the salmon. I'm gonna get it out, set it here on the cutting board. All right, so there's our finished smoked salmon, straight off the Green Mountain Grills Daniel Boone pellet smoker. I'm just gonna cut a slice right down center here. And uh, let's see, I'll just take a little piece off of here for our taste test. Set some of that there. Get that prepared. All right. All right, taste testing some smoked salmon. Here we go. very good. Definitely taste that smoke throughout. It wasn't too dry, but I am sure if I had left it on longer going off that Green Mountain Grill Meat Probe, would have been too dry. So it came out decent. And uh, you know, this is basically how you do it with the Green Mountain Grill's Daniel Boone Pellet Smoker, or if you have another type of smoker like a Traeger 
Rectech Gorilla Grills or others. Also wanted to mention this is probably the easiest cook I've ever done on the pellet smoker. I mean I just basically put it out there, came back about four and a half hours later and it's all good. So and also it was real easy because basically the drip pan underneath doesn't really have really any drippings on it you know it didn't have a whole bunch of you know grease and fat I can use the you know that liner that's in that drip pan again it's you know it all came out pretty clean so very easy cook very uh, efficient as far as you know getting it knocked out a real nice smoking on that salmon way better than something you could get at restaurants or other places do it yourself so uh, you can check me out on the internet on dgrillsmoke.com you can check me out on Twitter at uh, D Grill Smoke, on Instagram at D Grill Smoke. Also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends, leave your comments. Also, you can still subscribe to the channel and good eating.